is uh, Frédéric Miguero. Uh, I'm actually uh, deputy director of the National Museum of Modern Art at the Pompidou Centre. And uh, I am also chair professor at the Bartlett School of Architecture in London. My name is Marie-Ange Breyer. I am director of the FRAC Centre, Fonds Régional d'Art Contemporain du Centre, in Orléans. I am also curator of Archilab. And it's uh, about ideas, not about construction. And uh, what we try to do with the Fraxant collection about experimental architecture is uh, to develop uh, this uh, or to, to work on that idea that uh, architecture is mainly a concept, mainly an idea. And uh, you remember, of course, the famous sentence of Hans Solein in 63. Hans Solein told everything is architecture. And so in the Fraxant collection, in Archilab, we are trying to show that architecture could be a statement, it could be an object, it could be uh, everything you want if you have that uh, yes, inhabitation of an idea. You could be uh, an architect just as a builder, but uh, architecture, architecture, or to be an architect, is also to have to deal with the culture of architecture. And it's absolutely, for me, essential. It means that uh, architecture is an act of synthesis of procedures, very complex, which deal with uh, economy, politics, cultural facts, social facts. Uh, but it's also uh, a strategy to deal with a uh, contemporary scene and to transfigure this scene with uh, prospective facts which can change uh, the environment of people. And surely, uh, at the end, their inhabitation, their way of life, and so on. It's a real political fact in this way. Not only if you speak about social housing and so on, if you change all the system of procedures. To be an architect is to play with a system of procedures. Everything began when I was appointed here because the FRAC Center was a, 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 di a, a dying institution and I had to reenact this institution. I, I turned it up uh, to architecture. Uh, frankly, and I constituted a, a collection of architecture. And very quickly, this is a collection be become bigger and bigger, became bigger, bigger and bigger. And we made an exhibition in the museum in Orléans, and the mayor of Orléans asked us, with Marion, who was just appointed a year before, and the mayor of Orléans, because we had a, a beautiful page in Le Monde, the main journal in Paris, full page speaking about the collection and the mayor Orléans asked us to organize something as an annual event and we thought about and we say we have to do something for the contemporary scene for the youngest generation. Uh, the FRAC developed since uh, the early 90s a collection dedicated to art and architecture and experimental architecture from the 50s up to now and when with Frédéric Miguerou we created in 99 Archilab the idea was to, to have an international event dedicated to a young generation of architects and dealing with experimentation, innovation and research. And uh, it was the main idea through this uh, first edition of Archilab. At the beginning it was a meeting point. My idea was to make that people of the same generation from all over the world could meet themselves and speak about architecture. It was the end of the postmodernist period, a kind of very dogmatic and uh, moral uh, period. Uh, dealing about uh, a kind of morality of architecture and uh, the scene was more complex at the period. We had uh, the beginning of the post coulassian uh, emergence with new coulassian in, uh, uh, in uh, Holland, in Spain. We had a minimalist uh, on the scene and uh, it was the beginning of the Papelet studio, 93-94 uh, and the first Archilab I began to work in 98 and of course the beginning of the computation and the research in computation in architecture. Archilab was the first event dedicated to the new technology, new digital technologies, technologies in architecture. When we organized the first edition of Archilab in 99, everybody was standing, it's completely crazy, it's not architecture at all, uh, you are doing 
including an artistic event, exhibition, not at all about architecture, nothing to do with architecture. And so uh, Archilab was a kind of uh, testimony of uh, this, uh, this uh, paradigmatic or epistemologic shift uh, from the dealing with the digital process, design process, and, uh, and I think that uh, Archilab was at that time a turning point of debates uh, about this uh, yes, uh, digital shift at that time. It has to deal with what I spoke about, the idea of morality of the postmodern scene, speaking about greening, you know, or uh, sustainability as a kind of uh, escape. But you could, you could uh, green you a very bad architecture and uh, you can make a very fake sustainable, sustainable uh, architecture. It has nothing to do with research in architecture, even if uh, there is a low uh, energy building, it doesn't change so much. And naturalizing is exactly the reverse, is to deal with uh, the basic principle of nature and to hybrid them to engineering, uh, surely through computation, but also not exactly mimicry, not to simulate nature, but to invent new process to make that the architecture could be reactive to the environment uh, and producing a new kind of environment for tomorrow. And when you look at the, the I would say, the, the discourse of the architects, they are telling, yes, I'm very close to to physicists, I'm very close to biomedicine, I'm very close to, uh, uh, to neuroscience. And so there is really a bridge, a very important bridge now between nature and this basic science. And um, there is a kind of uh, digital substratum. And so architects, scientists are working, I would say, uh, in the same universe, uh, which is a digital universe with the uh, new software. They are sometimes using the same softwares. And so the idea of uh, naturalizing architecture was how these architects are really experimenting this uh, new bridge between architecture and science. As all the architects, uh, we, at, we try to build a very large overview on different scenes all over the world. And uh, it was a, it's a work in process because uh, for most of those uh, architects invited in Archilab, some of them I produce or commission some work at the Pompidou. Marie-Ange Breyer produce or commission some works. Uh, it's, a, it's a process of five years to, to find the good people, really creative uh, and specific. It's, uh, the idea was surely to assemble 40 individuals, studio, defining specificity of researchers. And uh, the continuity of the research is the criteria.